Hey guys, welcome back. James here again with you, and today I want to show you how I made a shooting stick out of a paint extension pole. So starting down here, I drilled a hole and attached a 69 cent uh, ladder hook. You can use a bicycle hook. I thought it was a bicycle hook, but um, either one, they're about 69 cents. I got all this stuff at my local Walmart, even the paint stick pole. The only thing I didn't get, though, was the yoke. Now, you can buy the shooting stick that's already at Walmart. Um, I believe they're around $20, or $10, I'm sorry. $10 at Walmart, and the same exact one is like $20 at the Dick Sporting Goods. But you don't have the adjustability like you do with this. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why did you drill a hole and put this uh, ladder hook down at the bottom? Well, I'll show you. Check this out. So if you're holding it like this, like you're getting ready to shoot, and put your gun on your hook, you can twist your extension pole, lift it up to the desired height, tighten it up with one hand, and then put your gun on it. And this has been working so good for me so far. It's awesome because, again, one hand, and done. I think the next best thing is like the Primo's stick, hunting stick, which I believe they were like $50, and that's even at Walmart, so they're awful expensive just for a shooting stick. And this paint extension pole was like $4. Uh, this was $0.69, cents, this hook, and then I drilled a hole on top of the handle here for this yoke. Now this yoke can be bought on Amazon or eBay, I believe, but the Amazon link uh, will be in the video below if you want to buy this. But I drilled a hole in the handle. You can see where the there's like a hook part for the handle where you can hang it on something. But I drilled a, hook, a hole out dead center, put the same thread, which is a quarter by 20. This is a camera adapter thread, universal camera adapter thread. So I put a fastener in there, pushing the threads out this way. Then you just take your yoke, tighten it down on like that so you have an actual handle. Now this setup is so nice too because you, once you get it adjusted to the height you need to shoot and your yoke is off, even though this part's tight, this handle actually swivels. So not only does the handle swivel on the tube, the tube locks on to the bottom part. So this paint extension pole goes from 4 to 8 feet. So it might not be that good sitting down, but I'm always hunting pretty much standing up. I'm always shooting standing up. So. But you could, I guess, use it sitting down if you angled it. So, anyways, guys, uh, I was just asked to show how I can make a shooting stick, and this is what I came up with. Now, this yoke, again, it comes on those lesser expensive shooting sticks that are already made, but you don't have this quick adjustability like this. And, to, uh, excuse me. And to buy this yoke online i believe they're they range from like five dollars all the way up to fifteen dollars so that's just the yoke itself um you could come up with something to uh basically like a y some type of y shape to attach on this handle of this extension pole and you'd be set but it works just like that fully adjustable it's nice because especially if you're making those tough shots whether you're at the shooting at the ground or if you're needing to go higher aim up high in the tree just like that so anyways guys just a quick setup here really inexpensive um, I actually already had this yoke candy when I built this but uh, like I said you can buy them for around five dollars online or so so all in all uh, this is probably around ten to fifteen dollar price point for a good shooting stick like this and it works great uh, I like it a lot. It's helped me out keeping those steady shots like you guys asked for uh, at the scope cam. This is what I've been using. Uh, steadier than just trying to aim up. But what also it allows me to do is use my scope cam that's behind the scope instead of the one that's on the side. I like the one that was on the side, but it was throwing me off because it was reflecting the light uh, to the opposite side. So you guys would see the squirrel on the right side of the screen when in actuality I shot it on the left side of the tree. So... I started shooting with my better scope cam and uh, it seems like the footage is turning out great even though there's a little bit of movement 
this is better than holding the gun by itself. So, um, and you could counterbalance the weight like this. This is me standing on it and it's doing that. It's wiggling just a little bit. You could build it a little bit more sturdier, but it's already light as it is. So, alrighty guys, I appreciate you watching as always. Catch you on the next video. Thanks again.